we have some awesome The Witcher 4 news because CD Projekt Red actually told us about the increasing development of that new title we're all waiting for. Everything in this video, stay tuned for that. What's up everybody, it's your boy Frankie Boy on this channel. I'll be covering everything regarding The Witcher and welcome to all you new guys that arrived in the last months without me releasing Witcher content at all, which is awesome. So thank you so much for that. And in the meantime, a lot has been happening. I'm actually being interviewed by official German TV. In Germany, we have like some state TV and some private TV and the state TV interviewed me on Cyberpunk 2077. If you're interested in that, I will keep you posted because Cyberpunk will be a part of the content of this video, of course, because we're talking about the latest earnings call. Adam Kaczynski himself said that the company is shifting resources to the next Witcher game with a big development boost quoted by IGN right here. Well, that will happen once Phantom Liberty is complete and currently there are 250-ish developers working on Polaris, which is like the Witcher 4, while even more are working on the Cyberpunk expansion. After releasing the Phantom Liberty DLC, they will transfer a big part to the Polaris team. That's awesome news because the Witcher will be getting a huge development boost after September 26, when the Cyberpunk DLC will be released. I actually already played it and I think you guys might be interested in me covering some of the DLC You'll see, even though you signed up for The Witcher in the first place, I guess, you guys are also interested in other CD Projekt Red IPs or maybe Assassin's Creed, which I'm a huge fan as well of. And I already played the next Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Mirage. You guys might already know this graphic and it shows how the development teams are engaged in which project and why. The support of Cyberpunk 2077 is actually being increased by the end of September to uh, by the end of December 22 to right now and we can also see this huge amount of people working on the phantom liberty dlc also this huge amount working on polaris while some other projects are being decreased i don't know if you guys heard about it but the witcher tabletop has been like a right now and i i'm curious how it will turn out because i love the witcher and everything that is released with it except for maybe the latest netflix season which i didn't review yet but i queued it so we have this huge amount of people already developed developing the next Witcher game and this will be increased by I don't know this amount of people which almost doubles it. I mean you have to be honest. First of all these people have to get into the workflow. They have to get to know the project and where its current state is right now. But I think that they will eventually at some point boost the tempo of this project so much that we can expect a new Witcher game pretty soon. And by pretty soon I mean like one to three years. You never know what happens in the gaming industry. I mean, there could be an anchor point with some kind of guessing, etc. But to be honest, games are in development hell all the time, e.g. Skull and Bones, other examples have been there all the time and it happens and so could it happen to the witcher as well they also switched to a new engine which they are kind of excited about i talked about it with fabian Döler. he's like a person for the german marketing departure of cd project red and he told me yeah they are kind of excited working with unreal engine and epic games on it but he also told me like the developers are totally used to the last engine they worked on with the witcher 3 and they did it successfully so I'm gonna take a guess and say The Witcher 4 won't be released in like a totally perfect state. I don't have to remember you guys that 2015 The Witcher 3 came out in some kind of mixed state with technical issues. There were like many issues with groups of enemies attacking you or not attacking you, like roach spawning at various places. It was kind of funny and also mean but kind of sad at the same time. So many bugs and yeah, they fixed it all in the end and it came out pretty nice at my favorite game ever but don't expect it to be released like that perfect and if you set your expectations right for the witcher 4 you won't be disappointed right now i feel like the witcher 3 is still my favorite game in the world so my expectations might be a little bit too high expecting the best game in the world you 
can only be like disappointed at some point of course official numbers they will arrive at november 28th and at this point we will of course talk about it here i mean there are some other projects at cd project right now and still something else is planned but let's be honest the Witcher 3 or The Witcher in general is their by far strongest IP. And I myself would totally recommend they should be working on that, increase the manpower on that and make that better. Oh, and I should totally fix my lighting here. You see, when I like switch my screen, it overexposes me. Kind of funny and kind of sad. Well, that's not the topic here. I'm super pumped about The Witcher 4 development going strong and we are happy, hopefully, to see like a decent game in the future. Maybe we'll get some teaser in the next year when there are so many people working on it. Some CGI stuff or so that will totally get me pumped. Right now I'm not playing Diablo 4 anymore. I need to switch that background. I'm curious what you guys are playing. Are you actually playing Starfield or waiting for other releases like maybe Assassin's Creed, Avatar or Spider-Man? That's what I'm currently looking at. And on my German channel, my colleague is actually covering Starfield, so I didn't get the chance to play it yet. I also skipped Baldur's Gate and had a lot to do on Gamescom, playing early access on Assassin's Creed Mirage and also creating my new office, which I created the room tour on my German channel. So if you're interested in that, check out Rec Nart. It's like f-r-a-g-n-a-r-t pretty easy check it out if you like i would totally welcome you over there on the german channel even if you don't understand it i think there are english subtitles available automatically see you guys in the next video when we will be talking about the witcher 4 cyberpunk assassin's creed mirage or other stuff see you guys thank you for tuning in yeah.